And Dalvin Azuma Nelson Jr. is one, is only 23, but proudly displays the many traits that made his father, Azuma Nelson, a global boxing icon. Now, in this exclusive piece, Juliet Bewa goes behind the scenes uh, of making another global star. Legend, a boxing great of many lives, Azuma Nelson's legacy transcends the shores of Ghana. Years after hanging his gloves, he continues to dominate conversations around boxing in Ghana and beyond. But that is what champions are made of. For rock stars like Azuma, they are made of more. The legacy has not died down, and in the past few years, it is even closer to home thanks to his 23-year-old son, Dalvin Azuma Nelson Jr., who is taken after his father. He is his father's blood through and through, exhibiting it with ease and anchoring an admirable skill that excites. Pugilistic to the core, he rides away from all the enviable feats his father recorded and is seeking to build his own charm and trademark. I honestly can't even picture my mind that back because it's been, it's been long. It's probably one of the first things I remember doing with my dad, like jab, jab, right? So probably about three years, I just started, you know, learning the arts bit by bit. And then maybe it got quite serious when I got to JHS. That was kind of a phase in my life where it was kind of like, can I really do this or am I just doing it for fun or what is it really? And we went to a competition in Australia. And then when we were there, like during the competition, they were like, they came to my corner and they were like, Charlie, like, take it easy because, you know, like, yeah, too for the guy. So, yeah, just relax. And well, from there, I kind of started to believe in myself a bit. Despite walking into a sport that made his father famous, he is now taking baby steps and not quite arrived yet at his father's level. The love for boxing was harnessed at a very young age and has since been an obsession. Dalvin feet off a constant reminder to be greater than his father. This has come with a special skill toolkit that has everything from precise brawls to body shots that dissipate even the toughest opponent. The traits, he says, are similar but of different shade. I believe I'm quite a bit of everything. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I can brawl a bit, I can box a bit, I can move a bit. I say I've got a good right hand. I mean, when it lands well, you feel it. You know it's landing. And I'm good at the body too, my body shots. I mean, yeah, when it touches you, you cringe. But I'm a student of the game, you see, yeah, so I like to learn new stuff. So I'm picking stuff here from this boxer, this boxer, trying to add it to mine, trying to perfect it. Hard training, easy battle, no pain, no gain. So those are kind of the mentalities I have in my head. That's what keeps me moving because, I mean, no food for the lazy man. Daniel Latekwe Latte has been coaching Dalvin for years. He tells me it is not too hard to tell he is headed for greatness. The father was the one who started him. The time I can see him, I think he's the age of around 10 or 11. And the father started to bring him to me to try to steady him what he's doing. There is some proverb say, I know there is something in him. I have to put in him. That's why the father believed me up to date. There have been moments where Dalvin felt like giving up, but for an amateur who is even yet to turn fully professional, he has learned the rudiments to know that passion is the most important shield in any sport. Boxing has kind of given me some kind of focus, some kind of mentality. I, I really do feel the pressure, but I believe it's the pressure and the anxiety that keeps me going. You know, like I have to do it because I believe I can do it. Sometimes when I feel the pressure and I can't go to the gym, I just start impressing, I just press up a bit. And then I'm like, okay, you, let me just relax. Like, I just cool myself down. <laughs> Solid as rock. Dalvin wilts the crown that was once heavy to emulate, but now given way to the determination and pursuit of a young man not content with just a few jabs. It's been good, I mean, I owe it all to him. My mark is 
to be better than my dad, or at least be as good as he was, because he was a very good boxer. And that would have to depend on my hard work and my um, conviction to the sport, and proving to others that I'm not just following in my dad's footsteps, but I'm also trying to create my own footsteps. On the wings of an eagle, he knows that one day, when his glory comes, it will be his. Dalvin Azuma Nelson Jr. Juliet Bewa, reporting for TV3 Sports, Accra. Oh.